Hello, in this video you will see how to enter short interval control data. So, short interval control is to review work situation minimum two times a day and to see if work is in progress according to plan. The purpose of short interval control is to detect problems in time before they become a bigger problem and then to take actions each execution superintendent or supervisor should fill this form. As you see here in this form, for each work order, we have estimated men, estimated hours, and then when supervisor visits the site, they should fill this information. For each work order, they should fill actual manpower, actual hours, and then they should check the progress according to this control criteria. So, to enter short interval control data, let's click this button. Here you will see we have five tabs. First, we should enter short interval control details. First, we should select who performed short interval control. Of course, we fill this information according to the short interval control form we received from this provider. And then we select short interval control day, for example, Monday, and then each time we select day here, this work order number, this work order drop-down list is updated according to the day selection. So now we select Monday, and then we see the work orders for Monday. So if we select Tuesday, we will see the work orders for Tuesday. And then you select a work order from drop-down list, and then type actual name and actual hour information and if you try to click next button for filling this information you will get message please fill all required fields to continue message so you should fill actual man and actual hour information here and then we type actual man and actual hour information the efficiency will be calculated automatically so if you type for example 10 hours you see the efficiency decrease. Now we can click next button. And for each tab, these criteria, they are the same as here. According to the form we received from execution supervisor, we will fill this information. So you can click drop down list and select. I will not go very detailed. So when you fill all information, you can click next button. If any information is missing, and if you try to click next button, you will get a warning message that you should fill all fields to continue. And then you can click next button. Here again, we have this checklist criteria, which are the same here for preparation steps. And here you can fill again according to the form you received. So these are preparation criteria. And then you can click next button. Select from drop down list. Let's say the other. Let's say no, and even to stop the execution, no, all planned tasks executed, yes, let's say yes, and training, let's say no. If you click next button, since we answered yes, there was a lost time, and if you click next button, then we will get a warning message, please explain the reason of lost time. So write the comments to the text box. So here, for each tab, we have a text box, which we can write our comments. So here, if we say an event disturbed the execution, if you say yes to this, and then if you click next button, you will have again warning message that please explain the event which disturbed the execution. Write comments to the text box here. You can click next. And then in next tab, we have after job completion criteria. So you can answer these criteria. You can fill according to the short interval control form you received from execution superintendent. Once you fill all the tabs, then click save to database button. All this information is recorded to SIC database. And if you scroll right, you will see that we can modify drop down for checklist results we can modify this and here we can write the name of the supervisors who should perform SIC control and this information you will see here so this is how you enter short interval control data thank you for watching